So hello and welcome. Uh, in this tutorial, I would like to show you something called a uh, set timeout function. And uh, I think it's pretty useful. And basically uh, it allows you to execute something after some time. Uh, so for example, if I click on this uh, button, no, on this button, uh, this square is going to uh, disappear immediately, but this one is going to disappear after a few seconds. So I will click. And you can see that uh, there was a delay in the red one. And that's uh, what set timeout function is used for. So I will right now show you how you can do something like this. Uh, so very simply, I will create uh, some kind of shapes. So I can go with a rectangle and with any kind of color. And I'm going to create uh, two shapes like uh, this. And one I can uh, change to maybe different color like so. Okay, I will click on one of them. I will go to the modify and I'm going to hit convert to symbol. And symbol, symbol one is fine because, uh, because we will be creating the instance name which is important. And I will uh, click modify, convert to symbol. Uh, make sure again that it is movie click and symbol two is fine. Uh, these names symbol one, symbol two are just for the library and they have nothing to do with, ja with JavaScript. Uh, this, uh, when I click on the shape, that is this uh, option for instance name. And this is the name by which we are going to be targeting this in JavaScript. So this is going to be blue one. And this is going to be uh, red one, for example. Uh, now I will create one more uh, pink. And this is going to be a very simple button. So I can go with maybe uh, green color. And I can type some text in here that it is button. So I will just type a uh, button uh, like so and we are going to have something like this uh, now i will just change the color a little bit so it's more visible uh, like this i will again uh, highlight it like so both text and shape uh, modify convert to symbol symbol tree is fine and this is going to be uh, button uh, one like button one uh, now i will create the, the code so i will hit new layer I will right click and I will choose actions and this is going to open my text editor. And right now I can uh, type in here that this uh, button uh, one, and then let me, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see this. So this button one, add event listener. We want to event listener to be click. And I want to call the function, which is going to be height shapes, for example. I will copy this like so. I will create the function. So function height shapes, parentheses, curvy parentheses. And uh, right now uh, we have to write the code in here. Uh, one thing is, as always, when we are outside of the function, we are using this. When we are inside of the function, we will create a variable. So let root is equal to this. This name is uh, optional. And let is, uh, uh, you can use let or you can use var. Let is just the new version in the JavaScript. And right now I can type uh, something like root blue one. Uh, visible is going to be false. And if I typed everything correctly, uh, it should hide my blue one shape when I click on the button one. So I will hit control enter and uh, we will see whether, <laughs> whether it's going to be working. So I will click and it has disappeared. Fine. Uh, now what I want to do is uh, show you the set timeout function. So I will go in here and I have this open in here. Uh, so basically, uh, basically I typed to the Google uh, set timeout function and I'm going to provide this in the description, but uh, you will uh, you will get the function in here. You can write it on your own, but I just wanted to show you. So I will copy this from here right now, like so, and I will paste it to my uh, to my animate like this. And basically this function allows me to click, for example, on the button and make the function happen not immediately, but after some time. And this can be uh, useful in uh, some cases. And in the next tutorial, I will 
I will show you combination of, of set timeout function with Goto and Play, which is playing the animation. And uh, I will provide the link in the description. Uh, but uh, right now, what I will do is I will comment this out like so. So slash slash means that it is going to be commented out. And I will uh, first of all show you how it works. And then I will explain. So I will copy all of this and I will paste it to my function like so. And I will make my space bigger and I will get rid of this alert hello. And instead I will type in there root red one visible is going to be false like so. And I will hit control enter. And right now, if I click on the on the button, the blue is going to disappear immediately and red is going to disappear after some time. OK, fine. And right now, I think that uh, I can go ahead and and explain what does this mean. So first of all, we will type set time out and set and time the T is capital timeout. There is nothing capital. So like this set timeout. Then we want to have parentheses and inside of this parentheses, we are going to have everything. So I can create some kind of space and in here I am going to type function and uh, after the function as usually uh, parentheses, curvy parentheses and in here uh, we can have anything that we want. And uh, in the example from the website, uh, in the function was just alert hello. You can see that there is this set timeout as we created in here, uh, the parentheses which open this and the one which close this. Then we have the function which I have in here and in the body of the function which starts from here to here, we can type anything that we want. And in our case, in the function, we had them uh, this root red one visible is going to be false. So we are just hiding the, the shape. And then there is this, uh, these semicolons, uh, they are uh, optional uh, in the JavaScript. We can use them, but we do not need to, but I can put it in here, but that's, that's not necessary. And then after the parentheses, this curvy parentheses, uh, there is this comma and this 3000. So it is, it is going to go after the function body. So comma, and this 3000 means 3000 milliseconds, which is three seconds. So if I want to have one second, I'm going to type 1000. If I want a half second, I would type 500. So basically, basically this is how the, how the function works. And uh, right now I can go ahead and uh, get rid of uh, this that we wrote in here, like so, or I can I will delete it. I will highlight everything like so, and I will hit backspace or delete. And I can go ahead and paste what I wrote right now, like so. And these spaces, uh, that's really up to you how you are going to manage this. Uh, you do not need to have uh, the breaks. You can have parentheses like so, but that's, that's really up to you how you are going to organize your code. But right now, if I hit control enter, if I click on the button, this is going to disappear immediately and this is going to disappear after one second. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, it for this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, which I will uh, create, uh, which I will provide the link in the description, I will show you uh, this in a more useful way. So there is going to be this kind of little project uh, tutorial about this. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully you learned something. If you like this video, hit a like. If you have some qu question, uh, you can ask in the comment. And uh, if you are interested in more videos like this, maybe uh, consider to subscribe. And hopefully I will see you in some next tutorial. Take care. Goodbye.